The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, once asked his companions, عنهم, Do you know who the bankrupt is? The Muqlis. And the companion said, A bankrupt is the one who has neither dirham, money, nor wealth. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, The bankrupt of my ummah is he who would come on the day of judgment with prayers, fasting, and zakat, but who had offended one person, slandered another, devoured others' wealth, shed the blood of this person, and beat that person. So Rasulullah is telling us that the bankrupt person is not the one who has no worldly gains, but the one who comes on the day of judgment with a lot of prayers, a lot of fasting, a lot of good deeds, but he has cursed this person and taken money off that person and abused another person and hurt this other person. So he starts handing them out some of his good deeds on the day of judgment until he runs out of good deeds. Then they start unloading some of their sins on him and eventually he enters a nar, the hellfire. So a bankrupt person isn't somebody who started out poor, but someone who was wealthy and then became poor. And on the day of judgment, there is no currency that is accepted except hasanat. Gold, silver, pound sterling, euros are worthless on the day of judgment. Only hasanat. So he pays them from his hasanat. If he runs out of hasanat, then they start giving him their sins. And he ends up going to hellfire. So we are now in this blessed month of Ramadan, accumulating all of these good deeds. And the last thing we want is somebody coming along and taking them away from us. Because we dealt with them in an unjust manner. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from hurting another person unjustly. And to keep shaitan and his army away from us at all times. Ameen. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu